911 calls shed light on the continued trauma in Fairdale, Illinois, after last week's tornado devastation. That sounds level. There's people bleeding and there's people trapped. <laughs> Okay, oh, wow. sir, what, what uh, are your specific address? We are aware that that area was traumatized. We're getting as many units as we can there as soon as possible. Residents are still recovering from the mess that damaged homes and took several lives. Sheriff Roger Scott admires the town's resilience and determination to make progress in this cleanup effort. A protester took a European Central Bank press conference by storm when she lunged at President Mario Draghi in Frankfurt on Wednesday. The protester was 21-year-old Josephine Witt from Hamburg, and Witt gained access to the press conference by claiming she was a reporter for Vice Media. Bounding onto Draghi's desk, she shouted, End ECB dictatorship, and showered Draghi with confetti. Witt continued to chant the phrase as she was escorted out, while Draghi resumed the press briefing once Witt was removed from the premises. And German citizens gathered in the Cologne Cathedral today for a state memorial service in memory of the 150 victims of the German wing's crash last month. Investigators say the plane was brought down deliberately by the co-pilot who was suffering from depression. This morning, the service was complete with the children's choir and several sermons from the priests, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the CEO of Lufthansa, and hundreds of friends and families were in attendance. And while over in Germany they were celebrating the lives of those victims, over in the sports world, they're celebrating the comeback of, of another great, great. <laughs> Jenny, why don't you tell us about that? Thanks, Megan. Michael Phelps is back, and he hasn't lost a thing. This swimmer competed in the 100-meter butterfly final last night. It was his first competition since he received a six-month suspension for drunk driving. Phelps won yesterday's event with a time of 52.38 seconds. He said that he thinks this is a good starting point for his first race back. Pepperdine's men's tennis team celebrates Senior Day tomorrow afternoon. The Ways will be honoring seniors Kento Tanaka Tamaki and Rakshay Thakar. Tanaka Tamaki has two NCAA tournament appearances with the Ways. Thakar transferred to Pepperdine as a junior and has made a big impact for the team. On Senior Day, the Ways will face St. Mary's at 1 p.m. Both men and women's tennis had an exciting week when they each won their WCC titles. This is the 14th straight WCC championship title for the women's team. Junior Marissa Chow finished first in the individual race, and senior Soman Lee finished second. For the men's team, sophomore Cody McManus won the individual title. Both teams will be holding banquets to celebrate their accomplishments. The action is winding down for a lot of the Pepperdine sports teams, but there are still some games on campus this weekend. Men's tennis will face Pacific at 1 p.m. today, and St. Mary's at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Baseball will also be playing this weekend. They begin their series with St. Mary's today at 3 p.m. and wrap up on Sunday at 1 p.m. Well, Shayla and Alex, I know a lot of people are stressing about dead week and finals, so watching some sports games is a great way to just unwind. Yeah, absolutely. There's lots, of, lots of stress, but we're looking at dead week, so hopefully things will die down a bit so hopefully. we can prep for finals and, this is kind of and like go to some games. This is kind of your last chance to go to uh, some games, and, you know, senior days are... You know, we've already had a few senior days for sports. I know volleyball was on Wednesday, I think. Um, so, you know, there's this kind yeah, of your last, last, last chance. chance to go and support the Waves. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. they're doing so great this year. I mean, all of our teams have been doing great. And so. like we said, the weather's perfect. So. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Let's Anyways, do it. Well, refill your coffee cup because coming up next, we have the latest in celebrity news. And you're not going to want to miss our exclusive interview with Trevor Alvarez and Matt Myatt about ATO's Gladiators. Don't go away.